What's happening guys, I'm back with another review and this time it's for ExpressVPN, the self-proclaimed number one trusted leader amongst all the VPN providers that are out there. So let's get straight into it and find out whether this claim is justified and as usual if there's any special deals or discounts that you guys can get I'll put a link in the description so you can take full advantage of that. Now when I first logged on to the ExpressVPN website, I found the site itself to be very well laid out and quite informative. It seemed that any question that you'd want the answer to, you can find quite simply by looking through their menu system. As well as the VPN itself, they also supply some security tools which are not only free but they're pretty useful too. Things such as a password generator and an IP address checker so that you can see what your computer looks like to the outside world when you're surfing the web. Their platform not only works on Windows and Mac, but you can also get apps on your iPhone or your Android device and these apps are fully featured too. Now it's not too uncommon for VPN providers to have apps these days, but they don't just stop at the iPhone or the Android devices, they also have apps for things like the Chromebook, the Kindle Fire, the Nook HD and selected routers from Asus, Linksys and Netgear. As well as that, there's apps available for some of the more popular Linux systems. So whatever device or operating system you use, chances are that ExpressVPN have an option for you. One thing I will note though, is that kill switch features are only available on the Windows, Mac and Linux systems. So if you're not on one of those systems and you want to use those features, it might be worth checking out one of the other VPN reviews that I've got on this channel. So check out the description for some links to those. Now one of the features which I personally find extremely useful is that if you're using Chrome or Firefox they actually have a browser extension for that. So you can actually have the app built into the browser so you don't have to open it in a separate window. And on top of the already large compatibility list they offer a media streamer DNS service for games consoles and things like Amazon Fire TV and Smart TVs. This isn't strictly a full VPN, but it does let you watch things on these devices that previously would have been blocked. And if you own a device which doesn't have an ExpressVPN app available, they actually give you a manual setup guide, so chances are you'll be able to get it on that device anyway. Doing it this way won't give you the full features of ExpressVPN, but you'll still be able to take advantage of encryption and location masking. So once the app's installed and everything's up and running, you can of course select a location to browse from or one of the many servers they have available, or if you prefer a simpler option, you can connect to your nearest server with just a single click. On the desktop apps, you're able to run speed tests so you can find out which is the fastest server with the least amount of people online. Now a lot of people choose a VPN based on how many countries you can connect to and how many servers they have available. Now ExpressVPN actually outdo a lot of the competition on this one. They have 94 different countries available and they have over 3000 servers that you can connect to. Around 3% of these servers are actually virtual servers but they're very transparent about this and they use them to make sure that you can keep a secure connection browsing from a country that otherwise might not be so secure. Now when it comes to the speed of these servers, ExpressVPN are definitely up there with the best. If you're connecting to a server that's fairly local to you, you can expect a reduction from your base speed of no less than about 10%, which is pretty amazing. If you're connecting to a distant server, speeds can drop to around 45% of your base speed, but again, that's something which we have to deal with when using a VPN, and it's nothing out of the blue. When I connected from the United Kingdom to a server which is based in New York, which is a fair old distance, I barely noticed any reduction at all, which is pretty impressive. So if it's speed that you're after, I would definitely recommend ExpressVPN. Now let's talk about streaming. With some of the large streaming sites like Netflix clamping down on the use of VPNs, a lot of the big VPN providers have actually stopped promoting this service and they don't usually advertise that they can do it. But not with ExpressVPN. They have several pages on their website devoted to streaming and they offer clear instructions on how to access specific sites. Now it sometimes takes a couple of tries before you can find a server that works well with Netflix, but it doesn't usually take long before you can start streaming to your heart's content. The USA servers work particularly well and there's also working servers in Canada, UK, Japan, France, Germany and a list of other countries that really do work well with Netflix and other streaming sites. For example, I've been using the American servers to watch Hulu, HBO Go and Amazon Prime. And I know that if you're in America, you can easily use the UK servers to watch things like BBC iPlayer. Now another great feature that ExpressVPN has on offer is split tunneling. What this will allow you to do is to split your internet connection in two. One side will keep your VPN running and the other side will just use your regular internet connection. 
This can be useful if you want to keep the speeds to its maximum, but you can also keep the VPN running on certain apps where you really need that protection. When it comes to protocols to use, Express provides three for you to choose from, which is more than the standard one to two protocols you get with several other VPNs. The benefit of having more protocols allows you to choose between greater speed or more protection, depending on what you're doing. But for those who are newer to VPNs, or for anyone who just wants to keep things simple, ExpressVPN has a feature which will automatically pick the best protocol for you. They use their own DNS, which never keeps logs, and they never limit your access to certain websites, which means you're free to browse wherever you like. And to keep the security level even higher, ExpressVPN uses trusted server technology. This eliminates the use of hard drives and everything is run on RAM. Basically what this means is that no data is ever stored on their systems and every time a server is connected, all data from the previous server has been wiped. Now like a lot of the top VPNs out there, ExpressVPN makes use of a kill switch. To me this is an essential feature and if your VPN connection ever drops for whatever reason, your internet connection will completely cut out so no data is ever transferred whilst you're not securely connected. Now when it comes to their privacy policy, the company doesn't store your IP address, browsing data, timestamps, DNS queries or traffic metadata. Basically they don't keep any of your information which could be used to associate you to any of your internet activity. So what's their stance on torrenting? Well, they don't talk too much about torrenting on their website, they do have a page about the use of uTorrent, but they don't go into too much depth on this subject. On the other hand, they don't discourage it, and you can certainly use P2P services and file sharing networks in general. And what about their customer service? Well, their customer service is actually pretty good. They have a 24-7 chat system, and within minutes you can be connected to an assistant that can help you with your issue. And if it's a very complicated issue which that assistant can't help you with, you can submit a support ticket, and somebody will get back to you via email. This might take a little bit longer, but you can still get the answers that you need. What's the point in having a VPN if you come across an issue and you can't get it resolved? Well, from what I've seen, their customer service is excellent, and there's nothing that they can't usually get to the bottom of. Now when it comes to their pricing structure, the longer the contract you get with them, the more you're going to end up saving. There's a wide variety of payment options, including Bitcoin, if you really want to stay anonymous while subscribing to this product. Unfortunately, they don't offer a free trial period, but that doesn't really matter because they do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if for any reason within the first 30 days you did have an issue, you can always get your money back, no questions asked. So what's the bottom line? Well, it's no surprise Express continues to be rated one of the best VPNs, as it's not only one of the easiest VPNs to use, making it great for first-time VPN users, but it also has one of the most extensive lists of features and apps that you could hope for. And even though Express is on the higher side price-wise, the benefit here is you get a great VPN that can do it all really well. Where most VPNs will be really good in one or two areas and then average in others, Express manages to perform strongly in all areas. So whether you're torrenting, streaming, unblocking Netflix, or just wanting to stay safe whilst browsing online, you're always getting top of the line performance. So ultimately, for anyone who's brand new to VPNs, or if you just want to go with the best VPN overall, Express would be the one to get. And it's well worth checking out the description below, because if they do have any discounts or special offers on at the time, I'll make sure I include those in a link down there so you can take full advantage of that. So stay safe, thank you very much for watching, I hope you learnt something, and I will catch you next time.